We're about to talk about this Tupac, Keefy D, Puff, Big Shug. This whole death row. I'm, I'm going to revisit this bad boy versus death row thing a little bit. Since we're hearing all the names again, Von Zip, Big Dre. Big Dre's, I guess, a new guy. Well, people heard about it, but now he's being the spotlights on him. People calling him the actual shooter. Who are they calling the shooter now? Dre? Big Dre, yeah. Yeah, they said Big Dre was the shooter, yeah. Not Orlando. Orlando might have shot too, but Big Dre. I think it's Big Dre. And then people are corroborating it by saying they seen a big black arm come out the car. So, like... Suge said it wasn't Orlando. Yeah, but Suge could. He also said Keefy D and all that wasn't like they were, you know, what I'm saying he, he said it was only two people in the car. Yeah, exactly. So we don't know. If, so who's lying then? If Keefy D said one thing, Suge saying the other, who's lying? Suge was Suge was a, a, a eyewitness, bro. Or is Suge playing the I ain't telling game. That too. So what's Keefe doing? The Keefe that got himself a murder charge, he wasn't even there? Not Keefe, we're trying to sell a book. And got himself a murder charge? And I guess so. And he wasn't even there. That's that's that's, that's what you're going with? He was, he was following Greg Caden's um, lead. Hmm. Let me get some water real quick. He's seen the police capitalize off, off um getting 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 money off the situation so he said why not me that's how that's how that's how i think it came to be you heard but that keep they say he keeping the street okay but see first we gotta start at like the beginning right was before anybody got killed, and they, well, you know, they said Jake Rogers got killed in Atlanta before Ooh. Biggie and Pac, you know, over, um, you know, the people try to implicate Wolf in that. Yeah. They said, sure. From the narrative, from the story, people, some people say they said Suge was bullying Puff or something at that time, or like trying to push up on or you know, like, Make his presence felt to the point that it made Puff uncomfortable or something. Puff was scared coming out of college. You know what I'm saying? He really like trying to find. Like you gotta look, my nigga. Puff was a type, a nigga that need, that always had a a a, a protection about around him. I mean, it's typical. Not early in in in, in the game, like when he was doing the promoting the parties and shit but as he got into the music industry and, and got bad boy he always had a big gangster around him. he had more than just one of course we see you gotta understand at what point in time allegedly according to the streets like those same dudes that was in quad studios when Pop got shot the first time, yeah, they was, they was pressing Puff too. Yeah, those wasn't like protection boys. Those was kind of like the no, boys. Was, I mean, that's why they they was more boys. like extortion boys. Yeah, they those really, you know, those measures caused him to to garner the protection. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but even because Puff had more like, all right, he had the like off. he had like Uncle Paulie with him, right? Uncle he Paulie. Had, he had right. D Rock after Big Dot. D Rock used to be with him when he came home. Yeah, you know, um, uh, Wolf, Wolf, right? I don't know if Riz was around Puff like that, but Wolf for sure. BK Rube used to be around Puff sometimes, right? These are all dudes that you know got some type of street element to them that was you know allegedly holding Puff down. Now I think Wolf and I think Paulie got tagged as like Puff's official like right hand, left hand man at, at the time or something. Yeah. But what so he had prior to then, like prior to like maybe, like you know the bad boy situation and all that. He might not have moved like that. You feel me? So do you think? But I'm saying, do you think the bad boy death row beef? Do you feel? Let's 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 get to the, the million dollar narrative, right? Do you feel like the bad boy death row beef was that? Um, 
too far gone already. Like, you know, it was already advanced to that point to a million dollar bounty to be on any artist's head at the time, either label. I would say, yeah, because Puff is that kind of nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he probably knew he couldn't beat Sugar Ass if they fought, and he knew what kind of um, <clears throat> stranglehold that Sugar had on the West at that time. So, you know, he, he, he had to move cautiously. Because what had happened to Bad Boy at that time, though, from Suge to warn a million dollar bounty to be put on Tupac's head? They were getting pressed. But if Doc pressed us and Wolf allegedly killed Jake, Big Jake, which was which is Suge's right hand man, wouldn't there be like would it would, shouldn't it be the opposite way around? I think that they had they because of that situation. He had to move like that because, like, he knew on on that side, you know, he he ain't got no he ain't really he ain't got no strength. Like like me see how he move out there now, but back then he couldn't move. Like he he was riding and he be ride by himself out there in Cali now. Who? Puff. Now? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, come on, twenty something years gone later. I said, I said, but back then he couldn't do that. You feel me? It was a different time back then in the night early 90s that you know but yeah you're right definitely but it was a totally different time yeah i'm gonna take this look i'm gonna put like this I'm game banger was like you know, really promise. it was on some real shit back then as far as like still was in new york yeah Shug didn't move with a whole bunch of dudes bro definitely he fly everybody out huh he was flying everybody out no when she would come to new york right yeah he would fly he had a, a bunch of death row dudes what they would say he even started a death row east at one try, trying to start death row east. he wouldn't even move Shook, Shook didn't move like how Puff moved. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I, I remember. So I remember when one time, um, a couple friends of mine they went to a club and they went to. I think it was either Cheetahs or Envy, and the niggas came back telling me how big Shook. They said Shook fucking earrings was like the size of quarters. The diamonds in his earrings was the size of quarters, right? But they, how they said that like Shook ain't really had no security with him. I mean, he was already big himself, but they said Suge had a few few people with him, but then he was with some other New York niggas was with him, too. Yeah, but they said at the awards in New York, he had a bunch of dudes running around with um, Death Row shit on. No, this is after, but this is this is more recent. This is after that 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 situation. This was like during the, um, this is after the East Coast. This is after Suge did his bid and came home the first time. Oh, you talking about after everything went down. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's focus on... Before Pac and Big get killed. You know what I'm saying? Before yeah. Pac and Big get killed. If Jake gets killed in Atlanta, why would Puff all of a sudden, wouldn't it be on? Would it, and that might, that might have even been before Pac got to death row, right? Because that happened in 92 or something, right? 93? Mm -hmm. When, uh, what? When Big Jake, let me see when Jake got oh, killed in Atlanta. Lord. No, when Big Jake got killed in Atlanta. When did Pac get to death row? Pac didn't get to death row in 96. Yeah, this happened way before. 96, in the 95, 96, he was in jail. Jake Rose, shooting in 1995. So he didn't get, Pac got after that. Pac got, Pac got to death row in 96, summer of 96. Like 95, 96, you remember me, 96, end of 95? Hold on. Yeah, he was, September 23rd was, was when did Tupac come to death row? Big J died September 23rd, 1995, I said. Pop probably came a little bit after. All Eyes on, on Me released in like February 96 or something. October. However, his scope never owned Death Row, so to make things official, Tupac signed October 4th, 1990. So, like two weeks after Big Jake gets killed. But I, I guess, I guess him and Suge had to be in talks before that. 
So that's exactly when it happened. And right around the time where Pac was coming yeah. to death row. So Jake gets killed in Atlanta, right? So my, so I'm saying, so if Jake gets killed in Atlanta, what does death row do to bad boy to warrant a million dollar bounty to be put on Tupac's head? If you said Puff wasn't even really the street dude, he was a dude coming from college and doing all this. Why would he automatically jump to putting a bounty on Tupac's head? Mm. Right. Because, you know, we had a narrative, oh, Zip gave him a gun and said, this is for the one million, and he never got the million. He came to New York and tried to get the million, but it doesn't really make no sense. If we kill one of y'all guys, allegedly, why would we end up, why would we have to put a million dollars on your head? If the guy haven't done nothing to take the war, y'all might just take that on the hop. Why would we, in, why would we, you know what I'm saying, continue the war if y'all not even trying to go to war? And why would they need protection on the West Coast then? Well, it's obviously why they need protection is because we killed one of you guys in Atlanta. Of course we need protection now because y'all going to try to, you know, y'all going to try to throw your weight around them when we on the West Coast, that's for sure. So I get the Southside Crip bad boy connection makes sense, right? right? As far to a point as they was fucking with some crips from out there. It only makes it, it kind of makes sense that they messing with some Compton crips because that's where Sugar them is from. So it's like, who's the best to hold us down than the dudes that y'all been going to war with all these years? Who probably a bigger set than I don't know. They, I don't know who's the bigger set, but like I think Southside probably a bigger set than Ma Pa Rue, right? So it's like that makes sense, but. Just saying, Puff was put a million dollars. Like KVD said, Puff put it. I don't really. That's the part that don't really make too much sense to me. Because like, why would Puff have to put put a million dollars up to kill Tupac, or for what? Hit him up. Now, now I, I ain't gonna say over. Oh, well, yeah, maybe. Now, was they playing with bigger budgets back then? Pac said, Pac said, Puffy getting robbed like a bitch to hide the fact he did some sneaky things he did. You know what I'm saying? So whatever mm -hmm. he said, he said Puff getting robbed like a bitch to hide the fact he did some sneaky shit. So what is the sneaky shit that Puff did? Well, that's the part. But then Pac said, and that little nigga down with me, bless the dead. No, I don't think Keefe did it, man. Like, I right, so boom. Because in, in, in all in this, how is, how did Keefe establish a relationship with Zip? And why would Keefe... Now, hold on. Hold on, why let me answer that one. Huh? Before you move on, let me answer that one. Keefe said he was getting wild work Zip was known as a hustler. If, if that kind of makes sense, they could be a connection there. Yeah, he said he was getting 300 keys. I understand that, but what I'm saying is, all right, when they say he allegedly came over here to line, get up, zip up. Yeah. Was he trying to sell Zip some work or he was trying to get some work from Zip? I think he was trying to get him on camera. I mean, get him on audio to talk about the million dollars or something. They trying to say, like he was coming I'm around asking about like, the bread. Like, well, originally, it was over some work. It was about some work too, though. I'm not sure. I, 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 remember, I, they I, say, I go see my, remember they say Zip said they said Zip told him to go see his man. Maybe that might be I, that might be in me. I gotta gotta rewatch it though. Definitely. But I don't know because it's like why would. Y'all in Cali, why would y'all be coming out here trying to buy work from from up from from me? And I'm all the way in New York. Or, or he, was he trying to sell him some work? Maybe. All right. Like I'm saying, that that makes that and what Puffy and Zip supposedly had a relationship. I mean, Zip from Harlem, you know, of course. Zip okay, so that's so so Puffy and Zip got a relationship. Yeah, they got a relationship. Zip and Keefy got a relationship. Yeah. 
Keefe and Suge got a relationship, and Suge and Pac got a relationship. Yeah, that's how. So and Pac and Big got a relationship. Pac and Big got a relationship. Facts. So. And then Big and Puff got a relationship, so it all comes back full circle. That's all. But do you believe the million dollar bounty part? Do you believe that part of it? Or you think that's just, you know, trying to implicate Puff with some shit because he's. I think, I think they're just adding sugar to the sauce. Like they're trying to juice it. Ju like, like Rallo said, they try, I'm trying to add, you know, I had to juice it up for him. Yeah, Paul. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Paul. So that, definitely. So that's what you think that's what it is, Keefe? Right. You know, I had to make it juicy for him. Pause again. <laughs> Keefe D. Keefe D. So, I don't know. I'm trying to feel like who you think is like the biggest scumbag. And within this thing, what do you think? It's like Keefe D or you feel like Zip? Because now we heard some things about Zip. True, rest in peace. We heard some things about him taking a million dollars from um Don King, busting it down with Tyson. They never got no bread. Now we hearing that shit about he provided the gun. Do you believe that part of it? That Zip provided the gun? My thing would be this too, though. I'm going to keep it real, baddie. Why would some L.A. gangbangers that drove from L.A. to Vegas, they didn't fly, why would they, that, that are active gang members that probably travel with a gun everywhere, why would they need to holler at Zip for a gun? I don't know. That's that's maybe Zip was more plugged in Vegas than they were. But they from LA. They drive with they. Why would they leave their gun at home if they active gang members? Because they got maybe motherfuckers be getting pulled on that highway going from LA to Vegas, and they didn't want to take the chance of getting pulled with a hammer and. And they they on parole or probation or <laughs> yeah, I get it. Yeah, that's or, 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 yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like that could be a reason. You know what I'm saying? And Keefe was already, you know, selling 300 keys. So he like, I ain't want to take the chance of getting pulled. That's over. what I'm saying. You getting 300 keys, but you don't move around with a gun. You worth all this money. That's why that's it's, it's like too many holes. Like, like you you're, like what you say could be true, but also what I'm saying could be true. Like, why would they ever travel anywhere without a gun? Like Orlando Anderson or no shit. You know I'm saying he might be going. Like he might have tapped in with somebody already. That was ah, right, he got it out there, so we good. Well, on that tip, you know. So then you got to holler at a New York nigga all the way in Vegas to get a gun. But that might have to be like they might have not like because honestly, you know, through my um, through my resources. I think Zip was related to somebody that they knew. Like Zip, because a lot of people told me that Zip had cousins, like like a, from LA, that would come with, like in Compton or, or South Central, whatever, that would come to Harlem frequently and be driving the Impalas with the low rock, like the, 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 the Impalas with the, the uh, hydraulics and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I have a lot of LA niggas. Around, you know what I'm saying. And then they said they had like a, a also allegedly, you know, allegedly they also had like a water connection. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They said, "Where put the hammer in the stash box, Paul Road?" I don't make sense. Yeah, it's like it's, it's just I, I can't mean, just. It might, it might, Drake, whoever car was that Cadillac might have not had no stash box. That Cadillac could have been a rental. It might. They could have rented the Cadillac to drive to Vegas for the fight. You know what I'm saying? The front. <coughs> and then you got 300 keys and y'all in a Cadillac. Like, everything not making sense. Like, I don't know. And really, I ain't going to say what. Well, I know a lot of New York niggas was on stash boxes and cars. I don't know about LA dudes like that. Maybe now, but that was more like New York type thing. It's just too many, like, you know, like the, the story doesn't like, like if you put something together, it doesn't click right. Everything, every part doesn't click right in. Like, it's not like, it's like little doubts in every moment, part right? of the story. 
It's a lot of holes in the school. Yeah, it's a lot of holes in like shit that would have to go perfectly to make sense. Like, you know what I mean? Like, all right, I guess, okay. Like, yeah, maybe it was a rent suit. Okay, maybe Zip did have the cousins. All right, maybe, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just. Because <coughs> they said Zip had bloods and crips that would come to New York <laughs> and fuck with him. So, like, I do I do believe Zip and Suge had a relationship. Because Suge and Tyson had a relationship. And Pop and Tyson had a relationship. And Zip and Tyson had a relationship. Tyson was like Zip brother. They said Tyson buried Zip. Like Tyson actually, you know, is one of the people that, that like, you know. Exactly. And Pac went to Vegas to see Tyson because that's his man to fight. See his fight. That was his brother. That's who said, it, bro. It's too much. Like he would definitely go to Vegas. That's why Zip was in because Tyson, like his brother. That's what I'm saying. So we got all these connecting pieces, right? Why would I get you killed? Like, you don't think maybe it was just some typical, you know, retaliation and they just throw a puff name into it because well, if, 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 what if what tough. if what well, say say Diddy might have said that? Say Diddy might have said that. Like, yo, I gotta, you know, on check well, like because why though? Give me a reason why though. Why it was wasn't it wasn't an, I don't believe that. I heard that at the time it was a bounty on it was a bounty on the chains, right? 10 P 10K. 10K on a death row pendant. Yeah, yeah, on the chains. And I think it was a bounty on the on the bad boy or Jesus pieces or whatever. It was a bounty on the chains between both clicks. You know what I'm saying? So But what we hear about Trey Trevon Tra 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 Lane getting his chain taken. We don't hear about nobody. Only person, only time we heard about somebody was Killer Ben took somebody bad boy chain or took a Jesus piece from somebody. That's the only time I ever heard about bad boy Biggie and them getting a chain taken. We heard about the mall, the mall fight with Trevon Lane got his chain taken by Southside Prince, which is what provoked Pac when they seen him in the Trevon Lane again, seen him in the casino, told Pac in his ear, and Pac ran, rushed over. That's him right there, rushed over and, and, and set it off on Orlando. Do you hear that same story or you heard something different? Yeah, become a member of the team. We can work on the new merch, but definitely become a member of the team. Yeah, I heard I heard that story. So we got a chain off y'all. Allegedly, my bodyguard laid one of your right hand man's down in Atlanta. Why do I gotta put a million dollars on your head? We already beating y'all up and doing shit to y'all in, in the streets. Like, why do I gotta pay somebody outside of the crew? To catch you, I niggas slipping and try to kill you. Because if the it, if it was today, that'd be talking about, oh, we two and oh, we want to know, whatever, how, how does it go? But that's not how shit moved back then. It was always outsourced. Like, even the mob outsourced hits. You know what I'm saying? Back then, like, it's a different generation and era now. But back then, a lot of hits was outsourced. Because you ain't want to lead back to you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So like like even the dudes that hit Paul Castellano, they weren't Italian. Even though Gotti sent the hit, but it wasn't Italians. You know what I'm saying? So like back then it was always kind of like outsourced. Even like coming up in the hustle game, like like you know, it's niggas now that find like a little shooter. That might be from they click or, or might be from outside they click. Like I'm gonna give you a prime example. Look at world in them and how eBay is from um Coney Island. They from LG. eBay was the hitman. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So they all from Brooklyn though. They all from Brooklyn, but they ain't, it wasn't nobody from the star that went in that, that went in. But I think eBay had family in LG or some shit. But it was outsourced. He wasn't hanging in LG. He was hanging in CI. But he did an outsource. They had him for somebody else's murder. What was it? And look, look at, Queens. Look at, I'm gonna give you another one. They got him for a murder in Queens, though, right? eBay. Did it? They? eBay. eBay is the one that killed Big No Troy too. All right, he was on that hit. Exactly. So he was like a real hitman. He was getting paid to murder shit. But I think that was World Man, though. 
Yeah, that's world. Wait, what you was about to say though? What you was about to say? Look at look at this shit with e money bags. And and like that was outsourced. Look at this shit with 50 allegedly. I'm old from Brooklyn. That was outsourced. You feel me? So if you really want to be like I'm saying, like history shows a pattern. Definitely. Erwin, what's good? So you're saying, so like I like I'm saying, so you so you see enough motive for, for at that time, Batty. They, they they before Biggie gets killed, before anything, before even Pot gets killed. Do you feel it was enough motive for Puff Daddy to outsource some South Side Compton Crips to try to kill no, Tupac Shakur? I don't think he outsourced it to them. I think he might have outsourced it to Zip. Zip. Because Zip had the plugs on the West. So Puff gave Zip the Millie. Because Zip already has a history of clipping Millies from niggas. They said he clipped Don King. He probably got the Millie from Puff then, if that's the case. If what you're saying is true. He just ain't giving nothing to I'm kids. not saying it's true or not. But all I'm saying is, like, he didn't outsource it to them directly. And I think he might have outs Like, he didn't, he didn't have a relationship with the with the with them like i'm gonna tell you sometimes it be niggas i i'm gonna give you this how some niggas is right i'm 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 in the streets i got i got decent clout some niggas respect me fear me whatever right so i know puff in comparison to me and how in in, in the streets puff is a soft nigga right all right. I got some niggas on the way. I know he got some issues out on, on the other side. I got niggas out there on the other side. You know what I'm saying? I got he already know that. Like the word word of mouth, he, oh, he plugged out there. All right, so boom. I might go to him like yo, so I know you I see you got the little issue with with, with, with boy boy and them over there. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell my peoples to look out for you. You look out for me. You feel me? As a tactic, because he's already getting, he was already getting, he was already getting his pockets tapped by tutting them earlier. Mm, you know all right, all right. You feel me? So I don't know how long like, that lasted for, though. No, but I'm not saying we don't know how long. It's the it's the the, the fact that the matter is that it happened. Okay, go ahead. No matter, go ahead. no matter how long it I happened. got some rebuttals, but go ahead. Go ahead. I'm gonna let you finish. So, your if, a, if another nigga that know, like I already know he's like, you know, I'm gonna go touch, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go holler, like, like yo, but I'm coming, like we cool because we from we from Harlem. You know what I'm saying? We cool. We from Harlem. You get me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's people that you know, I know defer, you know, you know, ah uh, yeah, defer made the bad boy shit. You feel me? So I could like yo, I, let me talk and like, yeah, man, nigga, I, I, I heard man, nah, nah. yo, my peoples is out there. Side of side. Yo, man, if I'm gonna call this nigga now, yo, da 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 da. Yo, new niggas is coming out there next week, bro. Such and such. Hold them niggas down, man. Don't let them. Uh, we got we on the strength of him. You feel me? So that mm -hmm. might have been how the relationship was established. Okay. But now you know I look at it as Zip probably looked at because it came a point time that they said that. Home, it, but then they come a point in time that they said Puff owed them some money and they well, wasn't fucking with him. That's what happened. That's why what happened that happened at, at the vibe party that night happened. No, no. That, that was said. That was said in, 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 in some of the papers. He owed them some money for like some bottles or some shit that they brought or some, some shit. Oh, regardless, he owed them some money, right? That they felt that they needed to be paid. He didn't pay them at that point in time. And their presence wasn't felt that night at the um Puff vibe. told them we getting followed. Maybe it was funny vibes, and Puff told them that night we getting followed by the FBI. We I can't be next to we can't be a neck around each other, which is why they wasn't there. Now listen, listen, I'm gonna tell you what parts of the story make sense to me. Part that, that you said what parts don't. The parts that made sense to me was Puff probably looked at Zip as like a big, a big, big bro, big homie. You know what I'm saying? He's already been getting money. I'm just starting to get get money. Then the also part. It was they was playing with bigger budgets back then. 
So a million to them back then, they would shoot a million, two million dollar videos, three million dollar videos back then. So a million back then is like, I could see people talking freely with the money back then because they was getting big checks, right? Then the part with how it happened, you know, like if they did get it from Zip, the gun, and the angle where you say Puff ain't saying it directly to Keefe, he said it to Zip, then all that makes sense. But I, it still doesn't make sense to me for the reason for Puff, like I said, Jake gets killed in Atlanta by allegedly by Wolf, who's bad boy related. Um, Trevon Lane gets robbed at the mall for his death row chain by the Southside Crips, who threw Zip, then threw Puff, is bad boy related also. We whooping your ass out here, taking your chains, even going as far as bodying some of y'all, and I'm still going to take it further to say, you know what? Now I want Tupac or Suge dead. And I'm just a kid from college. Hold on, hold on. I'm just a kid from college, a few years removed, into the music industry. And now I'm already thinking like a cold-blooded mafia boss trying to get other bosses killed. That's the part where I, I don't really, it, then, you know, it doesn't really make sense to me. Why would Pup do that? Why would he put money up on Tupac and Suge's head? You understand what I'm saying? But it also, listen, we got some history with Zip clipping niggas for millions. He's, somebody, Tyson said it in an interview that he did it to Don King. So maybe Puff, if it did happen, gave him a million. We know the million was talked about because KBD said the cops said he flew to New York to try to talk about the million and get Puff on, I mean, get Zip on audio to talk. Hey, but then again, listen, Shug saying Keefe wasn't in the car, Keefe saying he wasn't in the car. Keefe saying Orlando, he passed the gun to Orlando. Orlando did it. Everybody else is saying Big Dre did it. So Keefe got too many holes in his story. That's why I said I can't just run with that. I still lean it towards Puff. I don't think I think Keefe lying. I don't think Puff put a million up. But you got some good arguments on the that side. 